All right, so continuing along chapter nine here, we're going to talk about reaction rates. So before we talked about um, sort of this collision theory and exothermic, endothermic, and the energy of, but now we're going to talk about something different. So I want you to first off realize that what I'm about to talk about, about rates, which is how quickly a reaction happens, is independent of whether it's exothermic or endothermic and how much. So these are different ideas. The reaction rate is just the rate at which the reactants are consumed and the products are produced in a given period of time. So there's four primary things that affect rate. And so the level at which we're going to look at reaction rates, we're not going to calculate reaction rates or do anything like that. What we're going to do is just look at the qualitatively the four primary factors that affect rate. And so they are the physical nature of the reactants. I sort of alluded to this in the last lecture, talking about solids versus aqueous and liquids and stuff. Reactant concentrations, temperature, and presence of a catalyst. And we'll talk about all those individually. So I'm going to start with the first one, which is nature of reactants. So this is both the physical state as well as the size. So do, uh, this, I talked about this during collision theory. According to collision theory, the molecules actually need to collide in order to react. So solids are the slowest because there is not as much opportunity when you have a solid hanging out, right, for other things to come in to react, and they can only react at the edges, right? You can't react with the whole thing. Liquids are probably going to be the next. Liquids will be next, and aqueous is in there as well because when two liquids mix, right, when you mix liquid. Um, a and liquid B and you mix them in together, right, they start intermingling so that then the molecules come into more constant contact with each other. And gases are probably the fastest. Aqueous, is, aqueous solutions are right in here with liquids, um, about, about the same. So solids slowest, uh, gases the fastest because the gases, right, have high kinetic energy and they don't stick together and they can, there's a lot of space and they're just ramming, colliding into each other. They mix completely. So, more collisions. Um, the greater the surface area of a solid, the higher the reaction rate. So if I, and while this isn't really a reaction per se, if you put up like a solid cube of sugar in water, it dissolves slower than if you put granulated sugar. It's not a reaction, but the principle is the same. Only the things at the surface can um, react. So granulated sugar has more surface area, and so is therefore mo in more contact with the water. So different situation, but same root cause. Okay, concentrations. Um, so as we said, it it all comes down to how well they can collide, like how much, how often that these things can collide with each other. So the concentrations simply come out to be the higher the concentration of the reactant. Product concentration doesn't really have anything to do with the rate, right? How much product is there doesn't matter outside of the fact that the product, I guess, technically is counting as sort of a, a diluting factor. But if we just look at the concentration of the reactants, just the reactants, the reaction happens faster. And this makes sense, right? If I put more of two reactants in there, they're able to collide more and they hap the reaction happens faster. So the more reactant molecules there are in a given volume, the more collisions there are, and, more, and the orientations are likely to occur. Temperature. Now temperature, this has to do entirely with that, um, with that uh, activation energy thing. So remember, activation energy is this difference here. It's the difference between this, so Ea, activation energy, or energy of activation. So the molecules have to collide with enough energy to get up over this bump. So the energy that they collide with is based on their kinetic energy, which is based on temperature. So the higher the temperature, the more likely, the more frequently molecules will collide with enough kinetic energy to get over this bump. So reactions, all reactions always occur faster at higher temperatures, regardless. Now, remember I've said some things like, some things, there's always exceptions, like, remember things are more solid, solids are more soluble at higher temperatures, but gases are less soluble. But in this case, there's no exception. 
um, all reactions happen faster at higher temperatures because of this idea of activation energy. It just is a, it's true for every reaction ever. So there we go. All right. Finally is the idea of a catalyst. So catalysts, what, what a catalyst does is kind of, it's very interesting what a catalyst does. It's, infer, it's first important to know that the catalyst itself is not consumed, right? The product that is, it increases the reaction rate, but it is not itself consumed. It's not a reactant, because that would change what the reaction is. But what happens is, it is a reactant and then it becomes a product. So in other words, it, it, it interacts with the reactants. It reacts with them, but then the catalyst gets kicked out the other side the same as it was on the reactant side. So the catalyst is totally unchanged. So with that in mind, a small amount of catalyst can catalyze a large amount of, react, of reactant. Um, in the human body, enzymes are the body's catalysts. So there's a very small amount of enzyme in the body. It doesn't need very much because the enzymes themselves are not used up when the reaction happens. Okay, what it does is it provides an alternate reaction pathway. In the specific case of an enzyme, for example, an enzyme is this big protein that has sort of an, a little active site here. What it does is it brings the two things to react and it binds them using various intermolecular forces to the active site and holds them together in such a way that they will, of course, come together with the right orientation. So it assists them along the way and it makes, and through to a lot of complex interactions, what it does is it provides an alternate pathway. So if this is the reaction, you know, um, and here's the activation energy normally, what it does is it, any, any catalyst provides a new pathway with a lower activation energy, and this lower activation energy is therefore easier for the molecules to get over. So you get more collisions, collisions that before would not have gotten over the bump, now easily do. And so, what this does is this simply, without changing anything else, without the reactant being, without the, the catalyst being consumed, the reaction is sped up simply by lowering the activation energy. So, catalysts can work in several different ways. It can bind to reactants to create a lower energy intermediate structure, or it can um, help with the orientation. So, there's a couple of different ways it can work. Um, and we're not, we're really not going to get into the, the specifics. The only thing you need to know about a catalyst, there's two, really three important things you need to know. Catalysts speed, increase the rate of a reaction. Reactions happen faster in the presence of a catalyst. That's one. Two, catalysts are not consumed in the reaction. That's two. Three, they work by providing a pathway with a lower activation energy. So they lower the activation energy. That's three. That's the three things you need to know about catalysts. Here's a better diagram of what I drew before. And that is really all I have to say about um, rates of reaction. So just be able, just know how um, state of reactants, concentration, temperature, and presence of a catalyst affect rate and be able to explain why. So again, I'm going to go back to the beginning just as to sum up here. Physical nature of the reactants. Solids are the slowest, surface area matters. Liquids are next, gases are the highest. Gases are the fastest, they react really quickly. Reactant concentrations. Higher reactant concentration, faster reaction. Lower reactant concentration, slower reaction. Doesn't matter what the concentration of the products are. Temperature, higher temperature, faster reaction, always. Presence of a catalyst. Catalysts speed up reactions by lowering the activation energy. That's what you need to know.